What's up, Team Insanity? Team Green. Team Trees. I'm Toy Insanity. Welcome back to my hashtag, Toy Garden. Got some amazing figures right here, right now. From the Schleich Eldrador Creatures series. I've got Team Jungle. They did it. They did it. They finally did it, and they went there. Now, I previously collected Team Lava. Those fire dudes. Very cool. And I had my heart set on collecting the ice guys next. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm searching the interwebs, and I see this fella. Brand new, just created, just released. I might be among the very few first people to have these in uh, in North America, at least. Oh, oh, and it should be noted. A couple things should be noted here. First of all, Schleich did not send me these, okay? I bought these myself with my hard-earned money, and they're very, very pricey. Ah, uh, two. Yeah, that's how, you, that's how you pronounce it. Schleich. Schleich. Rhymes with like. Smash like now. Schleich, share, subscribe. Okay. A lot of people have trouble pronouncing it. I pronounced it wrong in my first video with the with the with the with with, 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 with the team lava. Okay. To the point where there's multiple videos by multiple people all across YouTube just telling you how to pronounce it. Schleich from Germany. Okay. Brand new. Okay, so there's the stone guys. There's the sea guys, and there's the ice guys. I don't know if I'll pursue them all because, dude, nothing is going to top these plant dudes. That is my aesthetic. All right, three to collect. The price comes in as such. The gorilla, the jungle gorilla with the vines on his arms, and the little plant like tendrils and appendages comes in at the cheapest $15 price point. No articulation. This two headed plant monster has arm articulation one way and one way. Lots of creepy tendrils, very plant like, and uh, two heads, two serpentine looking plant heads that do not move that is the biggest detriment the biggest setback here is they didn't articulate those heads i want those heads to move i want them yeah maybe i want them both facing forward i don't know maybe i want them looking at each other arguing i don't know but that's where the articulation need to be this is twenty dollars twenty dollars and then there's the big jungle beast Look at this creature. Tree trunk looking legs. Tons of detail in his body and face. Does not have a movable jaw. Super insane that they did not allow that jaw to articulate. And there's two pieces of articulation on these tendrils, the front two which are actually the same piece. It's the exact same piece. You could even pop these out. You could see. Same. So one has to flow that way, one has to flow the other way. The two in the middle are not articulated. This is $25. I really wish they could have articulated all four and gave him, him a movable jaw. I'm fine with there not being anything in the legs. And this guy, come on. This guy just needed like one point. I need to put that arm down. I don't. Why? His, no articulation at all. His arm is permanently up in the air. So bizarre. And this guy in the, in the, in the necks. The double neck, tree trunk neck. All right, I'm going to pop those ties. We'll have an even closer look. And I got to reveal something else about this guy. Something you probably won't expect. 
if you've been subscribed, following this channel, and smashing schlike on all the videos. BRB. All right. Well, I got to tell you, despite their high price and the limited articulation, I am very excited to have these. Do not regret buying these at all. Eldrador creatures. The jungle tribe. This is my exact aesthetic, especially in those two. This guy is reminiscent of King Kong. He's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that there's a grouping of three at least. All of the factions that I named do have at least three figures. And as I said, this is the absolute latest. The latest and most creative release from Schleich in the Eldra Door line. This guy, quite reminiscent of a Godzilla foe, a big kaiju called Biolante or Biolante, who's a plant based monster that goes up against Godzilla. It has those type of tendrils. This guy. Love this guy. I can't express enough how this is my exact aesthetic. I collect a lot of popular toys. I'm into a lot of things. But my plant people, my plant creatures, that's my favorite collection. You have no idea. You know, I love, uh, let's see. Treebeard, the tree ant from Lord of the Rings. The Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. The Piranha Plant from Mario World. Groot, Pickett, Mandrake, all those dudes. And whenever a, a line comes around like Flush Force or something that has a little plant faction, that's always my top favorite. But this guy in particular... These toxic twins of plant punks. This figure that I'm holding, I gotta tell you, is the figure of the year. Despite its limitations, I want those heads to move so bad. And I kind of think he should have been given two of the plant whips. You could take it out of the left hand and put it in the right. I think they should have gone ahead and given him two. It's like they got us 90% there. It just could have, this figure could have been even better with articulation. But I'm saying, as is, this is my favorite figure of 2020. Look at the detail on this. Oh, yeah, and Gormiti. Gormiti has a plant faction, and some of them are very cool with all the tendrils and stems and leaves. And I don't know, man, I just love creatures animals humanoid type creatures that have plant elements in their designs I can't stop looking at this guy if only I could move their heads around and position them the way that I want them to be positioned you know I'm already thinking can I get another one of this guy and customize it How hard would it be to self-articulate those necks? Anyway, got these guys on Amazon. Paid full price. You can check them out yourself. 15, 20, 25 American dollars. Amazon.com. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not free merchandise. They may show up at some Barnes and Noble Barnes and Noble stores, retail physical locations. I don't know. Barnes and Noble has a lot of the others, but definitely not the full set. You may see them at some of the mom and pop type toy shops. They carry a lot of the Schleich dragons and the Schleich horses and some of the other Eldra Door factions. 
But these guys just dropped. I mean, I was so excited to get them. Just hit. All right. Well, let me know if you're as excited as I am. Let me know. Give them some names. Give them some plant punny names in the insanity box. Okay. Thanks again for thumbsing it up. Slap. Schlike.